Hey you guys, it's Lacey, and today I want to teach you about logic gates in the new automation update. This update is still in beta, and if you'd like to opt into it, you can right-click on Oxygen Not Included in Steam, then click Properties, and then click the Betas tab in the new window that opens. There you'll find a drop-down menu where you can select Automation Upgrade Beta, and then you just click OK. Also, I'm using debug mode so I can build anything instantly and flip switches without waiting on duplicates so I can hopefully show you all of this a little bit quicker. OK, so let's get started. You can find the logic gates under the automation building tab here. You can also find the automation network wire and switches under this tab. All of this does need to be researched. They are found here in this row. And you can begin researching them as soon as you researched power regulation and advanced research. The only thing is you can't build them until you have a metal refinery to make the refined metals that are required to build them. Okay, so now onto the gates. This is an AND gate. This gate has two inputs and one output. This gate only activates its output if both of its inputs are active. So, if I flip on this switch, the light is still off. But if I also flip on this switch, the light turns on. It requires both this input and this input to be on before it'll turn on the output. This is an OR gate. It also has two inputs and one output. However, this gate only activates its output if one or the other or both inputs are active. So if I flip on this switch, the light turns on. If I flip on this switch, the light turns on. If I flip on both switches, the light turns on. So with an OR gate, it's one or the other or both. This gate here is an XOR gate. XOR stands for exclusive OR. You can see it looks almost exactly like this OR gate over here, except for this little line. With this gate, the output only activates if exclusively one input or the other input is active, not both. It won't activate if both are active. So, if we turn on this switch, the light turns on. If we turn on this switch, the light turns off. And then if we turn off this switch, if I can click on it, the light turns on again. So just remember, exclusively one input or the other should be active if you want this gate to turn on. This gate is a buffer gate. It has one input and one output. Whenever the input of this gate becomes active, the output immediately becomes active. However, whenever the input of this gate becomes inactive, the output of this gate remains active for a set amount of time. You can set that amount of time right here by clicking on the buffer gate. Set whatever time you want. Let's do three seconds and make sure you hit enter because it won't save if you don't. And then we will click on this switch here so we turn on the switch, everything becomes immediately active. But when we turn it off, this stays active until the time runs out and then becomes inactive. This gate is a filter gate. It also has one input and one output. It works exactly like the buffer gate, except it holds an inactive input. So we'll set this to three seconds. Don't forget to hit enter. And whenever I turn on this switch, you'll see that it will wait for three seconds before turning on the light. But whenever I turn the switch off, it'll turn off immediately. Okay, and this is our last gate. This is the NOT gate. It has one input and one output. This gate outputs the opposite of whatever the input is. So, if the input is active, then the output is inactive. And if the input is inactive, then the output is active. 
So just remember, the output is not whatever the input is. Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments. Also, if you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe, and please come hang out with me when I live stream on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern time on both YouTube and Twitch. And always remember, you are special and amazing, and I really, really like you just the way you are. I love you guys. Bye.